fidgeting friends, it's Becky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about my good midlife crisis. I hope you'll join me as I travel through my 40s and I try to get my poop in a group. I'm going to be working on my financial, my physical, and my mental health with a primary focus on my financial health to begin with. I, um, if this sounds like something that you would be interested in, I really hope that you will consider subscribing and coming along with me. I would love to have you on my journey. Today's video, I am going to be budgeting out my second February paycheck. I posted last week the plan with me, the um, my plan for this paycheck, and I used the budget by paycheck method by the budget mom, and we set it all up. Now, things have changed a little bit. Um, I had an additional gift I need to fund. I did get a little bit extra money. I got my cash back from Venmo. Like I said, I use my Venmo card for most of my dining out and my groceries because I get 3% back on my top category and 2% back on my second category. So that actually hit my bank account this morning. Um, so I have that in there to budget. So I'm going to use most of that to cover for the overspending I did in giving. And then um, the rest of it I'll pull from the just a little bit I had left over um, that I was going to leave as a buffer. So Again, I'm on my lunch hour, so I have to hurry. I actually have a meeting um, in 32 minutes. So this will be at least a 32 minute long video at the most, sorry, at most a 32 minute video because I have, um, I have a meeting. So let's go ahead and get right on into this. So I'm gonna shrink myself down into the corner and y'all can see right off the bat and if you watched my uh, closeout for my previous paycheck I was extremely spendy last week I went over in a couple of categories I have three three overspending categories and um, I posted that picture this morning to my Instagram I just started an Instagram for this channel to be fair I just started this channel but then I also started an Instagram for this channel um, so if you're not following me go ahead and follow me at the good life the good midlife crisis on Instagram and I'm gonna link the um, that actually it is linked in my profile if you are a subscriber you should just be able to click on that and follow me there as well I will be budgeting two thousand four hundred I wish $2,144.67 today. That is a combination of my paycheck, the money Seth pays me for his car and the auto insurance, and then that um, cash back that I got from my Venmo card. So that is what I have to do. And the first thing I'm going to do is cover my overspending for my last check. That way I make sure that everything is good. Um, I overspent $65.27 in groceries, and I did that on my Venmo card, which is why you see this is in yellow here and not in red. The way YNAB works is if you overspend in a category using cash, or what it considers to be cash using your cash, or your checking account, or your savings account, it will mark this as red, and that's a big red flag that, hey, you don't have enough money to pay the bill that you say you've paid, and something's gonna be short somewhere else. If, I, if you do it on a credit card, it does it in yellow, and it puts this little picture of a credit card with an exclamation mark here, and it's YNAB's way of saying, hey, you've overspent, and your budget's still accurate, but if you don't pay this, then you're going to have debt at the end of this month, so you might wanna focus on this first. So this is overspending on a credit card, so I am going to go ahead and fund it. And I am actually adding $120 to my dining out category because I still have my mom's birthday and my nephew's birthday. So we're going to the Cheesecake Factory this coming Tuesday. And um, I need to make sure I have enough money budgeted for that. Honestly, I'm not sure that that is enough money, but... Oh, that was groceries. I'm just kidding. I needed to... <laughs> I needed to put 120 in for groceries, and that only leaves me 54.73. I'm putting 100 in for dining out, but first we're going to do overspending. So anyway, I added the full amount for groceries. 54.73 is what I am left with. Um, I honestly don't know that that will work, but I'm going to try. Contacts. Um, this isn't really overspent. It came it it came out this morning because my contacts shipped this morning. So I just need to actually put the money into this account into why is this not working into this category to cover what hit my checking account this morning. And then the last thing I overspent is dog food. I went to HEB this past weekend and picked up a big 40 pound bag of dog food. Um, normally Nathan and I would split that, but he was out of town last weekend. He went to visit his dad. So 
the dogs needed food, I went ahead and picked that up, but it did put me a little bit over my budget. I got dog and cat food, but I put that into split wise and then it comes off of what I actually owe for rent. So it all evens out in the end, but I do need to cover this. And here is another thing that I love about YNAB. Let me scroll up so you all can see Venmo. So you see how this Venmo credit card payment is showing that I don't have enough money fully. It's not fully funded. Um, it's saying I spent more money than I have, which is why this is showing here as a credit card exclamation point. I spent $3.09 more on this card than I have funded for this card. But watch what happens when I, when I go ahead and put that $3.09 in this category it automatically moves it up to this category so I can make this payment. And that is, I love the credit card features of YNAB. It is the part of YNAB that took me the longest to get my head around, but it keeps me from having to pay, from building additional debt if at all possible. Sometimes it's impossible. Like I think I'm actually going to have additional debt this month because I've been so overspendy. And um, I, have, I have a payment coming out that I forgot. I didn't forget about it, but I, I just wasn't thinking and I wasn't planning for it. And so I have like a hundred dollars on a wine membership that I had to commit to two, I had to commit to two shipments of wine. And I did this back in November. Um, and so my next shipment is coming out. It'll be deducted from a charge on my card in 10 days. So I don't have an extra hundred dollars somewhere in this budget, but I think what I'm going to do is next month I'm going to challenge myself to do some no spending um, other than dining out with Ginny because once a week I try to go up and have dinner with her and her family. And um, so that I'm going to allow myself and then gifts if I have any birthdays or anything, I'll allow that. But I'm not going to, I'm going to try really hard not to buy anything for myself. No spending on Amazon or at TJ Maxx or at Bath and Body Works, which is my weakness. Their hand soaps are the best. Um, so that's my challenge. I'm going to put that together and I'll make a video about my no spend challenge for March, but hopefully I will save enough money to pay for that hundred dollars before I actually accumulate interest on it. But for this month it's going to accumulate as extra debt. Anyway, how YNAB tries to prevent that is they, they give you a big heads up like, Hey, it's, it's not, it's not right. Something's wrong here. So now I have officially covered all of my overspending. And then the last thing I'm going to do before I start budgeting is I'm going to take this 11 cents out of my what's left over for gas and move it to my to be budgeted. My car is basically full. It's a little bit less than full, but it's above, it's above the, like, it's very close to full. And I get really good gas mileage. And the only driving I am planning to do in the next two weeks is two land passes to pick up my mom and then back into Austin. So that'll use about a half a tank. I don't think I'll need any more gas. Um, so I'm not going to budget anything in the gas category here. So now let's start funding my categories. I love watching the things turn to green. Some of these things aren't going to turn green, um, but I'm going to try to turn them to green as much as I can. So dining out, as I accidentally said earlier, I am going to be adding a hundred dollars to this so that I can take my mom and nephew out for their birthday this week or well, next week. Fun money. I need to put money in here. I did go ahead and purchase some movie tickets. Nathan and I are going to go watch Death on the Nile tomorrow because Kenneth Branagh. Because, man, he's such an amazing actor. How much am I putting in fun money? I forgot. $13.77 is going into fun money. And that will top me off to $30 total for the month. Um, this will cover, because I have that Cinemark membership, All my ticket's already paid for. All I have to pay for is my popcorn. So this will cover my what I've spent for that. Um, gas, like I said, I'm not putting anything in that. So now I'm going down to my once a month categories. All of these that are here in gray, gray means that you funded it and you've spent it. So gray is good. Gray means that you were covered. So everything up through here, I have already paid and I need to start with today's date. The 18th, I don't have anything. The 23rd is my first thing. So my audible is going to come out next week, $16. My internet actually went down from $63.94 to $53.87, and I actually did pay that this morning, so I need to fix that. But I need to adjust my spending target. And the reason this changed, if you watched my um, the planning budget where I was getting this set up in my budget by paycheck workbook, my mom's I pay for my mom's cell phone bill, and I have that set up through opt optimum 
Optima Mobile, and I get a discount because Optima Mobile and Suddenlink are are um, affiliated. I get a discount on my internet bill for that. So that's a nice prize, surprise. I wasn't expecting it when it hit. Cinemark, here is my membership. This comes out on the 26th. Again, if you are a movie fan and you live near a Cinemark, that movie plan is great. It's $9.99 a month plus tax. Um, and then you get one free movie a month. You get companion tickets for like $9.99 or $9 or something. So instead of paying full price for your friend to go with you, you get a discount. And I think you can do up to three or four of those companion tickets a month. So even if you don't have anybody that you want to take to the movie and you just want to go watch a second one, you can use that as your companion ticket. Um, you don't pay any online fees when you're doing booking. And then you also get 20% off all of your concessions. Um, they're not paying me. I just... I just think it's a great deal if you like movies. If you don't watch movies, probably a waste of 10 bucks. Um, anyway, my water bill, I actually paid that this morning. I normally budget $120, but this month it was, I'm just going to put it in exactly, it was 11671. So this is why I budget $120. Again, I like to see everything turn green, so I've been changing my targets to match what my actual bill is um, just so I can have it turn green. Seth, Seth's car payment, this is, he pays me for his car. I have a Mitsubishi that I had purchased for my niece when she lived with me um, and she was paying for it but then when she moved out she couldn't afford it anymore so a friend of ours uh, from church very kindly, he needed a car at the same time so he took over the payments. It was a pretty new car at the time. Um, so he makes payments to me and then I make payments to the bank every month. And then he also pays me for the car insurance because I have to, um, I have to insure the car because it's in my name. He is supposed to be in the process of getting this car put into his name. That would be fantastic if I could get this out of my name. My mom's phone. I have no idea what this is going to cost me this month. Um, it was like $40 a month for the past year and then she moved into the country and doesn't have any internet available where she lives now so we had to up her from uh, from like one gig a month to unlimited gigs a month and I had to pay like special I paid $90 last month $99 for her phone bill with the charges for the overage and then the charges for changing and then the, it was crazy um, but this is what they said my bill was last month, but I should be getting a discount this month because of the sudden link connection. I should be getting, I think it's $10 off of this as well, but I don't know what it's going to be. So I'm going to budget this full 70, full 69.46 just in cases. Um, and then hopefully I'll be able to pull some out and then rent the way Nathan and I do rent is he pays these bills. He pays the mortgage because it's his house. He pays the phone bill. Um, I have a phone on the plan with him and his children. And then he pays the propane, gas, and the electric. The propane is the gas. Um, anyway, he pays those bills and then I pay the internet and the water bill. And then if I pick up anything throughout the month, like I bought movie tickets and then I also bought dog food, I'm gonna put all of that into Splitwise which is an app that we use to keep track of how much I owe him every month. And then it'll tell me what I actually owe him. It'll subtract what he's paid from what I've paid and how much I owe him and poofs out a number and then I pay him that money every month. So it's normally around $500. So I budget that. Sometimes it's less and that's nice. Then I can pull that out and move that elsewhere. But that's what I like to allow. And then the same thing with the couch. Nathan has um, some furniture he purchased for his children. And while he was buying furniture, I needed a new couch for my living room. So he just funded it all with his couch, with his furniture, and I pay him every month. So those are all of my monthly bills. These cards are ready to be paid. Um, these are spending I've done throughout the month or interest that is hit or a combination of the two in this case, like Walmart has the interest and it has some spending. I purchased gas um, for myself and my niece on this card. So. It moves the money from that category into your card payment so it's ready to go um, and you don't accumulate any new debt. It's a wonderful feature and I absolutely love it and I can't say enough. If you are liking this and you do not already have YNAB and are interested in trying it, you get an initial 30-day free trial, 34 days for free. If you sign up on the website instead of on the app, you, can, you don't even put in a credit card, so there's no way for them to accidentally charge you. You can't forget to cancel and then get charged every month. Um, the only way that you, I think if you do it on the app, I've heard that you do have to put in a credit card, so that could happen. But if you do it on the internet, on like on the website, 
you don't put in a credit card. So you get 30 days, 34 days for free. And then if you don't like it, you just don't worry about it. And if you do like it, you would then enter your credit card and decide that you want the subscription. If you use the link that I'm going to put in my description, then if you do decide you like it and you want to continue on with it, then we will each get an, uh, a 30 day an additional 30 days for free so if you use that link and you do like it you'll get the 64 days for free instead of just the 34 days for free um it has totally changed my life it has totally changed my life like i i will do an entire i've already raved about it in every video i've done but i'll do a whole separate video on ynab and some of its features and why i love it so much if people are interested let me know in the comments below if you're interested in seeing um, some of the features and how it's personally how it's helped me um because I'll, I'll make that video if you want to see it um anyway rant over <laughs> i am going to continue funding paypal i pay a hundred dollars every month and then that 38.95 was interest because it's quite a high balance so i get quite a lot of interest on that so 138.95 i actually also paid that this morning and this tj maxx is showing a balance here because i did some spending so it moved the money out of i had some pet category i had some budgeting category and i had some household category or self-care and it moved it from those categories in here and i made that payment this morning as well um what am i funding in here ecclesial expenses i do fifty dollars every sunday i try to um, donate fifty dollars every sunday to my church so that this i told it i need fifty dollars once a week by sunday and so it knows that i need two more sundays there are two more sundays this month so it needs another hundred dollars and then i'm not putting anything in clothes i don't need clothes right now i down Upgraded my target from $40 to $25 a month and hopefully next month when I implement my new budget and I have implemented a no spend for myself then I will um, I will be able to start funding that but I have no need of clothing anytime soon I have so many clothes I just keep pulling clothes out of my closet and donating them and I feel like for every one or two I pull out three or four more pop up in their place because I just seem to still have a closet full of clothes even though I'm getting rid of them um, my goal is to lose total about 150 to 170 pounds i am 40 pounds down from where i started so i am doing well on that but when i hit that goal obviously i'll need new clothes my clothes won't fit me anymore but for right now my clothes still fit me some of them are super baggy um and some of them aren't because i've gone you know if you've ever struggled with weight i'm sure you know that you go up and down and you have clothes in a bunch of different sizes so for now i'm good they might not be the most stylish but I leave my house like twice a week, once for church, they don't care what I look like, and once to go to Ginny's, and she doesn't care what I look like. So, it doesn't matter. I work from home. Um, so, skipping clothes. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to start here. These are my sinking funds for my annual subscription. So, YNAB, I need to have a total of $98.99 by October. I know that sounds super pricey, but if you do it all at once, it's only $9.20 a month. I can totally do $9.20 a month um, because, as I said, YNAB has changed my life. So it is absolutely worth it for me to keep this subscription. Um, so I'm keeping this. It's only $9.20 a month. I can do that. Wondershare is the video editing software that I use, and I just reactivated this membership. It is $45 in October, so that's $5 a month from now until October. Um, when it Once I paid it, then I'll have a full 12 months, so it'll be less a month. But for now, it's $5. It's still not very much money. My Sam's Club is also due in October. That's $4.09 a month to fund that. So I'm sure that's what this will be because that's also a $45 membership. And then my registration inspection, also due in October. I'm not weak. This is my bank account looks really nice, and then October hits and all my money goes out because that's when all of my annual subscriptions are due. Um, but that's $8.66 a month. Um, and then the last two categories I'm going to be doing are my my uh, savings. So I prioritized, I put a new no touchy when I'm not actively budgeting in this. I, I going to shrink this down so I can't even see it. No touchy. Um, these are my savings because I am determined to have a $2,000 savings 
emergency savings by the end of this year, and then I'm also determined to finish this 53-week challenge. So in order to meet, to get $2,000 by the end of the year, I have to save $151.78 a month, I think is what it is, and I need $171.58. Um, and so I still need another $121.58 this month, putting it in there. I am determined to get that emergency fund built next year. Hopefully I won't still have any debt, but if I do, I won't focus. I won't put anything in my emergency fund. Um, I, I just want to have $2,000. I will be 42 by the end of this year. And I think it's very important that I have something in savings. And then my 53 week challenge, um, I don't know how to fix this target. If y'all are familiar with targets and you know how to make this, I want to tell it that I want $26.50 a week. Really what I want is $53 every two weeks. Um, but because I'm not spending this money and it's a, it's a spending target, it's not asking me for any more money because it's like you've already got all the money that you need to, to meet your Saturdays, to meet your Fridays this month. Um, but if I, I tried to play around with this this morning and make this a savings challenge, but I can't do that weekly. I can only do that by a date and then it wants the whole thing at once. I just want to, if you know how to fix this, please let me know. I would love to, uh, <laughs> I would love to get this to work, but otherwise I'm just, I can just go in here and put $56 in there. So those are all of the things. Oh, I need to put money in gifts because Nathan's youngest son is his birthday is coming up on the first and I just spent, uh, sent his mother I need to put another 2552 I sent his mother 15 uh, 30 dollars towards what she's buying him so he is um, really into Minecraft and he wants that like realistic version but his computer can't support it so um, the whole family is getting together and buying him different parts Nathan's dad just bought him the RAM Nathan bought him the video card, which is super expensive, and then um, his mom is buying him, that uh, Alex's mom, not Nathan's mom, Alex's mom is buying him the um, processor? CPU? I think she's, yeah, she's buying the CPU. I don't know. So I asked Nathan last night if I could give him money toward what he purchased, and he said, no, reach out to the mom and see if you can put toward that, because I've already paid for this and I've already budgeted for it. So. I'm putting money toward that. It's just a drop in the bucket of what it actually costs, but it's what it's the only thing he wants for his birthday. So we're all trying to make sure he gets that. Anyway, also have Ren's birthday coming up, who is my bestie's baby. Um, but I actually I do have to put some extra money on that. But that I did on a card, so I'll do that next month. Um, I'll allow that to be overspent this month because it's Ren's second birthday, and she's. She's kind of special, um, so she may have gotten something pretty awesome from Aunt Beck because she's getting a big girl bed. She's getting a little sister very soon, and so she's getting a big girl bed. Um, so she got some Minnie Mouse um, sheets and blankets and comforters and things. So um, I'm going to have to budget for that next month. It's not the best mindset for budgeting, but it's what I've got to do to make it work. I am not going to not buy. I think gift giving is my love language for gi for giving. Um, I don't care about receiving gifts of course it's nice if somebody wants to give you something but it's not like the thing that makes me happy but the thing that makes me happy is giving people gifts so I think that's really where I need to work on reining in my spending and my problem is most of my birthdays and things all come clumped together December January February and then both Alex and Ren are both March 1st so it's basically February so my mom my nephew Ren and Alex all have birthdays like within a week of each other and then Ginny and my niece Tiffany and Nathan and Ginny's husband all have birthdays within like two weeks of each other so it makes all my spend that's right at Christmas time too so it makes all my spending lumpy um, but I'm hoping once I get past March it'll it'll even out a little bit all the rest of the birthdays are kind of spread out um look at me I said I wasn't going to ramble <laughs> And I've done nothing, but I'm sorry, y'all. I need to get into March and budget the rest of this money out. So in March, I don't get paid again until the 4th. So I need to pay Walmart needs to be funded in here. And in order to pay this card off by December, I need an additional $76.79. That's my minimum payment I have to make every month 
not including the interest and charges that I put on that card. So total, I'm going to make a payment of $153.06, but only $76.79 of that is going to previous debt. All the rest of it is going to new debt since, since I paid it last. Um, and I don't want it to build. And then I have to pay mom's car insurance. So I've mentioned in previous videos, but I do pay a couple of bills for my mom and then my car insurance. Um, because since my dad passed away, she is in slightly reduced circumstances. Um, so I just try to ease some of the burden where I can. So that puts me 64 cents over, which is a bummer. I need to go pull 64 cents out of somewhere. I guess I will pull that out of fun money to make this balance. And then that should zero me out. Okay, there it is. All of my money has been assigned. I'm hoping that at the end of the week, as my bills come out, they will be slightly less, like I said. Um, I always allow extra for rent. I don't know how much it's going to be, so I put $500 in there. Hopefully it will be slightly less. I mean, it's not like it's gonna be $100. It might be $20, but $20 is $20. Um, and my mom's phone, again, I'm hoping that will be slightly less, again, like $10. But hey, if, that, if I can get $30 from that, I'll, I'll take $30 from that. That'll be happy. Um, Anyway, that is all the time I have. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, will you please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Go ahead and put a cat emoji. Let me know you got all the way to the end of the video just so we'll know. Nobody else will know why you're, everybody's putting cats on my, my uh, comments, but we'll know. And then also, if you would please consider subscribing, it would mean so much to me to have you come along and keep me accountable because as you can see, I desperately need it. I hope y'all are having a fantastic Friday wherever you are and I'll talk to you later. Bye.